Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokegame here. We're using Mel Metal today because my boy was released. So we got this team from Gene, but I've been building a few Mel Metal teams, so you'll probably see it. As long as it's not banned, <laughs> you'll see Kieran Black and all that stuff as well coming up. I'm actually not sure how he beat Kieran Black. How do you beat Kieran Black <laughs> in this meta game? It doesn't matter though. I'm leading off with Mel Metal and I'm gonna click double iron bash and click a superpower. I don't I don't care. I'm leading off with it. I, I don't I do not care. I can thunder punch you as well. And I'm actually going to click Super Power immediately because I'm about to nuke that Feral. I actually do not have to predict Feral Thorn at all. And it's better for me to Thunder Punch to make sure that you die. Dracovish is checked by size. But I'm just a little bit excited. My bad, guys. My bad. I could Wish Pass as well. Should I just Super Power turn one? I have Aromatherapy and Wish Protect. And I can Wish Pass this into on Feral Thorn. Let me Super Power. Yeah. Give me that. <laughs> give me that Feral Thorn. Charlie's Band Mel Metal says KOs only. I'm like slipping off my chair. What the hell is this? But easy, we started off today with a KO from Choice Band Mel Metal, and now we lose to Man Time. Perfect. Perfect. Because I don't have Thunderbolt on my Scarf Dragapult. Uh. Well, that's very unfortunate. Uh, does Foul Play kill you? That's a damn shame. Like I, said, I don't have I don't have Thunderbolt on my Scarf Dragapult, which I'm gonna put right now. Cause this is this would this would otherwise be my check. Yo, bump U-turn. Make sure we don't lose to this ever again because we are about to. I just want to check if uh, if foul play picks up the KO uh, or breaks the sub. Excuse me, because if foul play does break the sub, then I, I can do that and then bring out my uh, Dragapult and attempt to do something here. Um, but this is going to be the biggest problem for sure. I don't think it does break the sub though because Mantine is very weak on the attack. Okay, 18, uh, fly, ah, uh, man, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna go Rotom Heat on the Substitute, or the Hurricane, that's fine too. And uh, I was gonna pivot back and forth between this and Side and Toad until Rain ended. I don't think that's gonna be the case now, but um, I'm really, I'm very surprised that they went for that, considering I'd be able to Volt Switch, if anything, but they definitely expected me to switch there, so that's fair. Um, I'm gonna Volt Switch again, because I, I, I don't, I cannot beat this Pokemon. I cannot beat this Pokemon. This is very unfortunate. I guess we can go Dragapult and click Shadow Ball because we will be faster. This is why, this is why you 100% by the way guys run, um, and I'm going to lose the Kieran Black too. This is why you 100% run Thunderbolt on your Scarf Dragapult so you don't lose things like Mantine. I guess in theory I could double iron bash here and okay cool so we didn't lose to Mantine yet and I still have the tools to win uh, but Kieran Black just becomes a giant monster versus me um, like quite literally I actually have to go Clefable here because it's the only thing that doesn't allow Kieran Black in and Dracovish does not matter at all because I just protect on it so shout out to Melmetal saving us just gonna protect as they go Pelipper that's cool we're gonna wish pass Yeah, that's cool. They're probably going to Scald here as well. Um, I'm surprised they U-turned because I would have been able to go right out into Melmetal there. But I don't really care about Dracovish. Like I said, I can protect and, and, and stall it out. Um, if Rain is up... I got I got to make this play. Do I Toxic here? Do they sub as I double Iron Bash? That's the thing because they could Dragon Dance immediately. I know sub is also an option too. I'm going right out to Melmetal. If they sub, I lost anyway. Um, but maybe I can live a Fusion Bolt. Perfect. Maybe I can live an attack. I think I definitely live this. There you go, Melmetal. Knock him out. Yo, Melmetal too strong, baby. Melmetal way too... I had to get rid of my headphones. My, my headset broke. But look at Melmetal beating down Manti and Kieran Black. Easy victory for young Melmetal. That's how we do it, man. I, I'm already liking this Pokemon. I'm already liking this Pokemon, bro. The first one, break this up. First game, Melmetal saves the day. Uh, definitely should have lost that. Um, oh, my God. Another Melmetal game. I love it. I am loving it. I, why did I not Iron X? Who is this girl? Why is she following me? Um, Dracovish is checked by you. Melmetal is beautiful in this game. I love Dragapult. U-Turn would be better in this game. Uh, I love Dragapult though, and I absolutely love Melmetal. And like, if they don't lead Corsola, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, because I just... <clears throat> I'm 
clicking my button. Show me your switching. Even if you obstruct, I do not care. Like, when I have a Mel Metal today... No, not the Flame Orb! <laughs> That's annoying. That's so annoying. I mean, Mel Metal is still... I can Aromatherapy it and still use it later. Uh, I'm assuming they might go for, like, um... They knock me off. I Thunder Punch just in case they go Corseless so I can paralyze it. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> That's fine, though. Um... Like, it's not the end of the world at all. So I'm okay with getting in my clef, as I'll be able to uh, aromatherapy my Pokemon. And I think I still think Melmetal is huge here, too. Um, I wonder if I can... I wonder if I'll beat them 1v1, too, depending on their set. Uh, I don't mind Wish Protecting, and... That sucks they were... The, Literal one set that could do something to Mel Metal. Like the literal one set. I don't think they're AV. But I mean, I'll see right now if they're leftovers. They're not. Great. So we'll wish up. As they have Psy Shock, unfortunately. And they might actually end up being AV. I believe I can just beat them 1v1. Um, my Mel Metal, if it comes in versus. This Mon, it'll be okay. They might be Mystical Fire Giga Drain, so they can deal with uh, Seismitoad there. So, I, I again, I don't mind, like, stalling them out of Psy Shocks, uh, potentially. I don't want to get crit here, so I'll always protect them. Then I'll go Melmetal as well, uh, seeing if I can do uh, some damage from there. So, they end up going Dracovish, which isn't a big deal. Obviously, I get to bring out my uh, Seismitoad here. And I don't really care if they toxic me because I can aromatherapy. So I'll click rocks because there's no, I don't lose anything by clicking rocks since they already have rocks up. So I hope that makes sense. Hatterene is still, this one is still very good versus you. Dragapult endgame helps me out versus these two as well. Uh, Manaba just got a little bit tougher because of how I played it, unfortunately. I will make the, we'll make the Manabuzz play it. It's actually relatively useless in this game, but I mean, I guess it does give me a defog, which is pretty cool. Um, as a toxic and again i'm not as worried about that at all uh mainly because i have the aromatherapy so i'm already knocked anyway just moonblast spam uh, the obstagoon isn't a problem i would love to get my choice band back on melmetal though if possible i would absolutely love to get my choice band back on melmetal and getting a crit and a special attack drop is amazing because they're not going to be able to do any damage back to me obviously they can go out into corsola if they want here or they go hard Dracovish on a Moonblast. So that's great too because that puts that in range of my Seismitoad. So I mean, again, like, I'm, it's a slowly, it's slowly but surely. And I could have clicked Double Iron Bash in this game and I'm mad at myself that they were Flame Warp. Right back out on the Seismitoad. I'm not going to bother predicting. I don't care what play they make because my, my clef walls everything. I'll click Toxic here because I figured this will be the turn they try and trade. Exactly. And I have Heal Bell so I don't have to worry about that at all. And I could potentially rocks, but there's there's literally no point. Uh, though if I got up rocks, they would be there to stay. I'll just scald here in case they try to go Hatterene. If I had Earthquake, I'd go for it after, but I don't. Um, but if I get a burn on Hatterene, then that limits their recovery. Or the turns they can stay in, rather. And then Clef just continues to do exactly what it wants to do versus you. Yum. Uh, go ahead and wish up, and then I can heal my entire team in front of you. That's beautiful. Uh, so Hatterene will be beaten down now. Um, I told me I don't have to save Melmetal specifically, but I still will. I definitely will. Let me get all that little burn chip, man. That 6% burn chip is lovely. So they end up bringing the Obstagoon. I'm, I'm going to make the Melmetal play and hope I get back my choice ban. Unfortunately, that was not the case there. Uh, we can make... There's two plays we can make here because they're going to go Corsola, right? Um, Facade is something they're locked into with a choice ban. I, I actually really like Rotom, uh, considering I can set up on this thing and then proceed to Threaten Como if they opt to go out into it. And we'll just Discharge here. Uh, hits everything. Uh, I can potentially uh, Paralyze the Como and I'll be faster anyway. That did a good chunk too. Yo, are you set up? Hold up. I think Overheat puts you out of range of your setup move. As they go Dracovish, which is smart because over here would have done a ton uh, to them. 
Same thing with Sizem Toad. I'm not worried about this thing setting up because I have Scarf Dragapult as they go right for Outrage. Which they're locked into, so we can get up rocks now, so they can no longer switch uh, like they've been doing. And if I wanted to, I could have picked up the KO, but I didn't. it didn't really make sense considering my Clefable walls your entire team <laughs> to death. Uh, with rocks up, they have no hazard control, so uh, once again we'll wish, and I will bring that right back out in the Melmetal if possible. I will bring that right back out in the Melmetal if possible. That doesn't give me a position to lose the Como either, if they give me a choice bank. Knock it off. Hey, let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, so I can still use my choice band later. I'll go Mandibuzz because if they... It doesn't matter what move they go for. Basically, if they go Como, if they're sub Belly Drum, I U turn out to Dragapult. If they're Clangor's Soul, I U turn out to Dragapult. This is why Mandibuzz positionally gave me... Again, the best position here, obviously. So they clang her soul. We're going to U-turn right out into our Scarf Dragapult, which we saved specifically for this Mon. I'm not going to miss Draco Meteor, and I'm not going to miss versus an opponent that I've been out playing the entire time. I am bringing this to life right now. You are not going to miss. We're going to get rid of the combo. And that's a wrap, bros. Yep. And I managed to have my choice ban at the end of the day on my, uh, on my Mel Metal. All my metal metal. Let's go. I'm so happy for all these different meta games that we're having this generation. It's so cool. Yeah, Choice Band Metal Metal still fire. Uh, it really sucks how that like beginning of the game went. That's a really cool obstacle set. Um, I mean, it's a standard. He just used Switcheroo over Bulk Up. Um, but still, I, uh, I'm sad because I, I want to click Double Iron Bash as much as possible. And this guy's team, Terrakion, I actually did a podcast with Mr. Jamvad. You guys should check him out at Jamvad University. Uh, Terrakion is going to be a giant threat. That's for sure. My size and tote is really overwhelmed here by both Terrakion plus, um, plus Melmetal in this game. Um, I have Rock Slide on my Melmetal, which I think will be key here. Size and tote is going to have to come out in a lot. Yeah, Sizemtoad is overwhelmed by everything. Dragapult is really good here, though. Uh, and I love... I, I have to go Sizemtoad because I'm so weak to Terrakion. Uh, and, as well as Rotom Heat. We're going to Scald just in case they trick. Uh, if, or if they go hard, Feral Thorn. i rather burn them. If possible, because I can infinitely wall. Now, I don't think Power Whip exists, personally. But this is a really bad play if I stay in. Where, where I have... Um, quite a few options here if I let Melmo Mel Metal might actually be able to do some work versus you yeah we'll go we'll go Manda Buzz and see what they actually go for here as they knock me off that's fine um, I don't want to U-turn and take any unnecessary chips so we'll bring out Rotom Heat as well Rotom Heat is still good naturally as well versus them and yeah this is very 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 strong because we can just Volt Switch out are they Assault Vest they just take that that well that did nothing, man. That did 10%. I'll rocks here because it doesn't matter if they go Caldeo. It doesn't matter if they... they at, this, at this point, I'm trying to get some damage because this mon is a threat too. Secret Sword is threatening, but Dragapult should be able to check everything. As they are calm mine, most likely sub calm mine. I should have went for Thunderbolt there. That was my bad. Thunderbolt was the better play. I hope I'm not punished for it. It looks like I'm still not punished for it, so that's good. I don't care if they switch here as well. Uh, because Clefable, which happens to be unaware, it has an easy Melmetal switch. I'm a sewer fire. Like a man. <laughs> Unfortunately, Melmetal is going to take a... Like, it's probably not going to die, yep. yep. It's going to get a million recovery back. But we take those, though. So now we know the damage roll as they are leftover. So they might be sub... Uh, Seismitoad infinitely walls you. And I'm going to make the aggressive Melmetal play on the Feral Thorn. And Clef has Unaware, so I'm pretty sure I 2 ko them with Super Power as well. So, ah! Oh no! It didn't KO! <laughs> no! I'm clicking it again. I don't care. Alright, so they gave me Feral Thorn, which is great. So I keep my hazards up. Not that Ferrothorn could defog them, but I get rid of Ferrothorn, which is the important part. Uh, Rotom Heat comes out, uh, which Seismitoad is still an infinite wall for, and Seismitoad actually beats a lot of their team. Forgot you got defog now, that's really cool. 
Well, I'm gonna rock up again because you can't do anything about that. And here's the part where I pray I don't lose this month. I think I definitely Earth Power as they are Life Orb or Bandit. That is, that is Bandit for sure, but they almost died. And I can go out into my uh, Dragapult and threaten them a bit. Oh, that's cool too. That's fine. Go ahead and give me some recovery right now. You have nothing that wants to come in on Scald anyway. So if you try and go Terrakion before I click Rocks, that's fine too. I also live a Secret Sword from the Keldeo. And Melmetal is looking that much better right now. Uh, I live Secret Sword. Uh, however, I am okay with going Clefable here. And simply going for the uh, Wish as Melmetal comes out. And because I'm physically defensive on Seismitoad, I'll be able to tank one Body Press. Yep. And get it back to me. So even if they're the uh, the acid armor or whatever it is, my strongest Pokemon versus their team is now back. Oh, I actually tried to click Toxic there. My bad. I guess that wasn't the play. Let me just two KO your Melmetal then. It's the same thing. Caldeo dies. They go Rotom. I don't care. Clefable comes out. I'll Toxic you because I believe you're unaware. Oh, they weren't unaware. What's wrong with me? That's my bad. That was a bad misplay on my part. But they lose out. They lose to Rotom now too. So, but I'm I'm making it so I can lose to Rotom as well. So I shouldn't have done that play. Um, toxic. Oh, it was hurt by poison. They are unaware. Awesome. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna wish pass uh, because I don't lose much from it, and I can bring out my. Uh, Dragapult and probably just Shadow Ball them now. Yeah, let me go ahead and eat that up. Click that nice and Scarf Shadow Ball. Do a little bit of damage to them. Just a little bit, but they don't have any recovery anyway. And if they go out to Clef, which has leftovers. It says it's hurt by poison, but I'm not seeing it. Whatever, man. We'll bring out Melmetal here. Okay, I'm seeing it now. And I'm going to click Choice Ban. Sewer power one more time because it will kill Rotom, it will kill Melmetal. Yeah, I, I gotta get as many kills of Melmetal in this live as I can, baby. As many kills as possible. Doesn't matter what they do, I just sack size them to bring out Dragapult and clicks uh, Modest Shadow Ball, which will 2 a KO every Mon on their team. And Dragapult should be able to win the game. And because they gave me Melmetal, there should be no chance that they lose to this. Because then we just bring out my double iron basher and you know we click double iron bash. <laughs> Keldeo dies <laughs> raw to double iron bash, bro. Oh, they don't even get the chance to pair on me to death. Let's go, baby. Secret Sword is not going to kill me. You better get a skull burn. I'm sorry, but we're clicking that choice. Man. Look at that 32 with one. 32 with one, man. Yo, Melmetal is broken. I hope when it gets, if it, if it gets banned. I get to still use it. Just me specifically. Just me. Uh, nice nice variation. Nice build right here. Uh, Melmetal is important so I don't lose the cure him. But I think Dragapult can help me check that too. Keldeo is scary. My Rotom Heat is really good here. Hmm. I like Melmetal because it doesn't have a bad like lead <laughs> at all. Well, I got one bad lead, I guess. Alright, we'll make the Dragon Ball play just in case there's subcom mine as a show that, and we will Thunderbolt them. Do I want to be aggressive here? I don't think I got to predict drill at all. I'm not going to predict drill. I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't think I have to predict drill because I have Amanda Buzz. So, um,. I'm great with Keldeo being that low because now all I gotta do is Sewer Power, Feral Thorn, and I can click Double Iron Bash. Like, these other resistances don't count. They're not Pokemon. <laughs> they are not Pokemon. You are a problem, though. You are a problem. What do you even do versus this thing? Do you just stay in? I mean, I guess that's fair. That's very fair. Let me make my Keldeo play. Let me just click Earth Power here. <laughs> Which, uh, actually, 2 ko is because of the fact that I, I got a spit up drop. But, I mean, it 2 ko anyway, if they didn't calm mine up again. Kirim Black comes out, and that is a hard Mel Metal for me, my friend. Hard Mel Metal. And I'm going to click that Choice Band Superpower because it hits Ferrothorn. It also would knock out Kirim Black. 
Hey, and now my double iron bashes are free. Yo, Melmetal is nice. Melmetal kind of clean, kind of nice, kind of clean. Ooh, let me defog this away. What is your set? I don't want them to be flamethrower. So I'm just gonna... Well, I was gonna attempt to... Uh, to paralyze the Kieran Black, but I guess I didn't need to because I had Melmetal. Ooh, okay. Show me what you got. You better pray it's enough. Don't have Earth Power. Fusion Bolt is not enough. Sorry, my friend. Go ahead and give me that one whack is all he needed. This thing is basically Marowak on steroids. Double Iron Bash is too strong. Too, too strong. I'm sorry. You kill me? What do you think this is? I'll scald. Um, see if I can break through and potentially. Oh, okay. Let me let me <laughs> let me damage them to the point of Shadow Ball, which I guess Scald will do as well. Maybe I'll get stalled. Uh, maybe I'll lose to this thing. Hey, burn it immediately. Burn it immediately. Huh. Ah, big damage, big damage. Clefable just becomes annoying though, because, but nah, Rotom literally beats it 1v1, so I'm good. We'll just click Shadow Ball here. As they give me Scarf Jirachi, great. If Clefable is Calm Mind, I have to paralyze it with my own. Otherwise, I'm good versus it. Nice. <laughs> Yo, Memo is so fun. Bro, the fact that it will you better start running Earth Powers in your damn Kieran Blacks, guys. I'll be running sub DD, just run DD Earth Power. That might be that might be what I run as well. But yo, I'm just having so much fun with Mel Metal, man. I really am. I really am. It's not even like like I'm I'm, I'm positioning myself. Like I'm thinking about my position, of course. I'm positioning myself, but like uh, I just feel like so aggro with it. I love it. I can't wait to use my opponent doesn't have a, a Mel Metal. Ooh. Mandibuzz is good. Melmetal is good. Dragapult is good. I'm good without Rotom in this game. Now, the reason I'm leading Rotom is because they have... Um, it looks like Pseudo Trick Room. I'm not sure necessarily, but Rotom can basically take the knockoff from Obstagoon to put it in range of uh, Draco Meteor from Dragapult. Um, and I don't want to lead off with Something like Melmetal versus I drag on and immediately have to switch. I like this because it gives me momentum early on. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if I died a jet. Nice. So I get a basic, like... I basically get a KO here, which is cool. Um, I'll go for Shadow Ball. Getting rid of Crawdon's nice. Getting rid of Crawdon's definitely nice. Obviously, Obstagoon gets to come out, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't, I don't really want to switch in anything to this thing immediately. So I rather them take this from me, and I bring out my Melmetal and click my Double Iron Bash. Uh, CC kill. Huh. Wuss. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what Mew does here, but I do think I just clicked the foul play. Ooh, lovely damage. And will you turn out to have a good position versus anything coming in exactly? Uh, if I go Clefable, it doesn't allow Hydreigon in, and it also can beat Obstagoon, which is very important. Uh, and Aegislash isn't the biggest threat because I'm pretty sure it's Swords Dance, which means it gets bought by foul play. Uh, so if they go Hydreigon, for instance, I can just Moonblast them. If they go out into their uh, Mimikyu, I just go out to my Double Iron Basher. So, and as long as I have either Clefable at full or Dragapult healthy enough, or even Sizemtoad healthy enough just to weaken... Sizemtoad basically just has to weaken the Obstagoon to the point of Draco, I'll be okay. So like if they go Mimikyu, for instance, I literally bring out Melmetal and I click Double Iron Bash. If they go Hydreigon, I just obviously trade um, the strong hit for a KO. 
Sick. Right out to Melmetta we go. All right, well, that SD was the last thing you ever did before you died. Never mind, you did 40%. Just think about that. Everything you did in life was for this 40%. I took 100%. <laughs> um, nice, though. We get rid of a, a giant threat. In this regard, I really do like Clef. Even if they nasty plot up, Clef doesn't have the biggest role, and I think that's fair. Seism Token can still weaken you, and I'm going to Draco you anyway, so I'll let you knock me. Bro, wait, what? Oh, they weren't life for I was about to say, like, how how did I not KO them? How'd they not KO me, rather? Obstagoon comes out. I'm going to protect. That way they take extra turns of burn, uh, which will open up the... Uh, which will definitely open up Dragapult a little bit to knock them out. Hmm. I don't think Dragon Ball KOs yet, but it's okay. I don't think I could lose either. I could be wrong though. It could be SD Head Smash on Aegis Slash. Nice. Balloon is pop, which means I can Earth Power you. We go right out to Mana Buzz. Even if they double out into the Obstagoon, I think that's okay. Let me just click that foul play. You Head Smash? Nope. They were not Head Smash. So they will give me the Aegis Slash. And, uh... Yeah, we just click the Earth Power here. Not over yet, buddy. I can still miss. So we click Earth Power. We're trying... We're basically just trying to weaken Obstagoon to the point of Thunderbolt, which I believe I just did. I can miss. Just modest. Obstagoon. You know what? I'm gonna go for rocks right here. I'm not gonna let them weaken me. I don't count on that. Hey, that's fair. That's fine. That's fair. Alright, so now they're definitely in range of modest Thunderbolt. So I win this game either way, but I think Melmetal's gonna win me this game. Oh, he missed. He did miss. No! Uh, unfortunate. But wait, can he knock me out with knockoff? Or facade? Does Melmetal eat? I don't have U turn on my Mon, so. Yo, Melmetal picked up so many KOs, and this is. Yes, sir. That is me. You'll be seeing this video later. You're actually ending it for me. Appreciate you. Uh, recognize the name, actually. Nice, man. I wish this mon got Sucker Punch and Extreme Speed. Good game, bro. Alright, so I just had to do all that just to make sure that the uh, Obstagoon was... Uh, yo, Obstagoon, I'm using it soon. Man, it sucks that Pokemon... So I'm, I'm really happy Pokemon Home came out because obviously... Look how much work Melmetal put in this entire life. Every single battle. That's a mon that's going to pick its weight... Uh, like pull its weight every single time, right? It's it's a damn good mon. Um, I think Earthquake is good also over Rock Slide. Rock Slide's only literally there for this Pokemon, and that's it. But Earthquake hits like a uh, move, a strong move versus Toxic X, H Slash, and everything with this mon. All right, it's good. But uh, yeah, Melmetal, fantastic Pokemon. I really did enjoy this showdown live. I enjoyed killing. Uh, Feral Thorns with Sewer Power and whatnot. I put up a moveset video earlier today, but for some reason when it went live, it said it went live 30 minutes before, but it didn't, right? It went live at 2 p.m., but then it said it's been live for 30 minutes and it just showed up in people's sub box. It was weird. I scheduled it and it just didn't go right, but uh, if you guys want to check that out, that was the previous video today. I'll, um, feel free to check it out, and I'll have a Wi-Fi battle up later today, so thank you everybody for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Melmetal. This mod is absolutely destructive. Thank you so much, Gene, for the team. We're able to go undefeated today with this damn broken Pokemon, and it even saved me versus Rain uh, early on. I'm actually glad I made it Thunderbolt, too, because that endgame, well, I mean, I would have U-turned to kill him, obviously, but... Yeah, like, I, just the rain matchup, it makes a lot more sense to have Thunderbolt. So, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, one thing, tomorrow, I didn't really plug my merch, but tomorrow, they, uh, why does it look like that? <laughs> so, I actually got an email, again, I, and I'll talk about this tomorrow, but they, I got an email for, uh, for a Valentine's Day, uh, 10% off, that they, they sent me this picture, 
Uh, so you guys will see that for my drop of Jeepin' merch. I, I, I really don't know when these sales will happen, right? And I, I'm not trying to, because I got a comment about this, and you know, I, I, I like when you guys hold me accountable to things, uh, but in this case, it wasn't my fault, right? So the comment was like, yo, bro, you said last time was the final sale, but then you had a sale again. I don't appreciate you lying to your subscribers. I respect you, but I lost a little bit of respect for you because of that. And to which I replied, um, and another person replied, he had told us that we reached a threshold during the last sale, so we were able to get another sale, uh, which is the, the, the truth. That's exactly what happened, right? And this one, I did not know that there'd be a sale during Valentine's Day. I'm going to be 100% honest. I just go, had a DM, or had an email, excuse me, and a DM um, about it. And yeah, I'm just letting you guys know. Job of Duty merch will be done in the end of February anyway. Uh, if you want to pick it, feel free to. I, I love the merch, and uh, the, the shirt's actually really comfy. I have like three of them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the link is down below, uh, and I'll see you guys. I, I never want to like, I'm not trying to lie to you guys about anything, right? That was just the honest thing. I thought that was, I thought the first sale was the only sale we'd get. I don't know when we get another one. Then we got one because we hit a threshold, which I showed a picture of to proof, and then we got one for Valentine's Day. So yeah, if you guys want to pick up some merch, feel free to this weekend. I'll see ya. Goodbye, my friends.